commonly used method of stock positioning incorporates pilots in the progressive die. There are two methods of piloting in dies, direct and indirect. Direct piloting involves piloting in holes or slots punched in the part at a previous station. Indirect piloting involves piercing holes in the carrier strip and locating them with pilots in later operations. Locating indirect pilots in the scrap region has two advantages. They are not readily affected by part changes and their size and location are not as limited as direct pilots. On the other hand, there are two disadvantages. Material width and lead may increase to accommodate pilot holes and carrier strips may distort on some forming operations, elongating pilot holes out of tolerance. If part holes are close tolerance, direct pilots can affect hole size in their effort to move the strip to proper location. If direct pilot holes are too close to part edges, weak outer portions are apt to distort on pilot contact. As to how close a hole may be to part edges, twice stock thickness is generally preferred, although half that amount is acceptable with proper stock control. If holes are in a weak part of the inside part area, the part may buckle before direct pilots can position the stock. Therefore, indirect piloting in the carrier strip is advisable. Moreover, for accurate part location, pilots should be as far apart as possible. If part holes are too close together, indirect piloting in the carrier strip should be used. 